to say, so Steve, you talked about how, you know, you were, you were bringing him songs and stuff like that. How much, how many songs did Ace bring into this production? Yeah, I mean, primarily besides Back Into Your Arms Again, which, you know, we finally got recorded from the 87 demo. And, um, you know, that was one when we were working on, I believe we were working on Cherry Medicine here in my studio. And we, you know, when we're writing lyrics, we go on YouTube and we're trying to, you know, I was going on looking for some rhyming words. I didn't have a rhyming dictionary with me. And I see on YouTube, I see that little Back Into My Arms with him in the Unmasked era and i go is this a leftover song from unmasked and he goes no it's a demo from you know from from the 80s i did with this guy arthur stead and that's how that came into play and then life of a stranger was the cover tune but everything else on the record were 95 percent ideas that i brought to him you know again he was still working with other artists and i i mean with other writers and his friends and coming up with other things but I was on a mission to make the best record. And it just got to the point where when we, the fifth song we finished was Cherry Medicine. And when we got that one, and Ace has been very vocal about it, when he played it for Lara's daughter and her friends who were in their early 20s, they all went nuts. Because Cherry Medicine could easily be you know, any active rock band, you know, pop, you know, rock band. It could be, you know, it could be, I, I dare I say, you know, maybe a Green Day or a Weezer. You know, it's got an alternative thing. You know, a lot of people are saying Oasis, you know. I mean, come on, Noel Gallagher is influenced by Steve Brown. Let's never forget <laughs> that. All I wanted was Ace to be able to have something for his legacy, that this could be his shining moment. You know, and 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 that's really it. But at the end of the day, you know, like I said, whatever I do and whatever I get involved with, you know, I want it to be the best that it can possibly be. And uh, and that's what we did. And, and you know, at the end of the day, also, you know, there were, you know, and Michael, I saw some of your uh, the metal voice thing about certain things. There are certain battles as a producer and a co-writer. There are certain fights I just couldn't win. Um, there are definitely, I stand behind every song on this record, but Ace, it's his name on the record. So there are certain lyrical battles that I can't win. And that's what you do as a producer. You have to, it's a give and take of what the artist wants and where, because believe me, man, I, I'm not, I'm not intimidated. I've been around famous rock stars for most of my life. I'm not intimidated by anybody. And there were certainly moments when Ace and I would get into it. And I would say, no fucking way can we do this. You can't say that. You can't have that line. You're not going to sing that. And he'd go, I want to do that. Or, you know, but at the end of the day, we would both cool off and then we would go. But it's all for the greater good of the record. So, you know, th those are some well, of the challenges that I had to deal with. And the other big challenge was, that he was also still, while we were making the record, he was still working with other people, which have been, you know, um, some of his other friends that he was working with. And I got to say, man, it was a tough thing because those songs were not in the same planet as what we have now. And that was a tough battle because you got to sit there and tell Ace that, dude, your childhood friend, whoever you co-wrote the song with, this idea is not good, man. This is not this is not going to stand up next to 10,000 volts or cherry medicine. But this has all been part of our, you know, our master plan. People ask me all the time that same thing like they, you know, did you ever think? And I go, of course I did. This is what I did since I, I started Trickster when I was 12 years old. This is what I did. I told everybody I'm going to play the Meadowlands. I'm going to be friends with Eddie Van Halen. I'm going to tour with Kiss. I'm going to produce Ace Frilly. I'm going to be in Def Leppard. And this, yeah. is, this is no this is no accident. And at the end of the day, the work is the is the proof in that. Luckily for me, the good Lord blessed me with all the tools to be a rock star, a rock producer, do all the things that I've done in this career.